Hi, I'm Jessica Alba, and I am here with my awesome friends and stylists, Emily and Merritt. So it's really cool that you're opening up your closet and selling a bunch of your favorite things for Vestiaire Collective and all the proceeds are going to Baby to Baby. I know, I love Baby to Baby. Tell me a little bit about Baby to Baby and why you got involved and why it's a cause that means a lot to you. Basically when I became a mother, you know, not only did I start a company uh, that gives back and makes responsible ethical products, but I also really wanted that give back to be tangible. And one of the first organizations that we partnered with is Baby to Baby. Um, and what I love about the work that Baby to Baby does is it provides everyday essentials for families in underserved communities. If in any way we can help other families provide kids with their everyday basic essentials, um, that's, I mean, that's what I'm dedicated to doing and that's what Baby to Baby is all about. That's amazing. So let's transition to fashion, which is why we're here. Um, so you're a mom and an entrepreneur and you're always on the go. So what is your go-to outfit? I, I would say my staple is a high-waisted skinny jean and a button-up that's front tucked. So it's like a mullet tuck. <laughs> Very secret styling <laughs> trick that you just exposed to everybody. Okay, we're gonna do some rapid fire questions. Okay. What was the first designer piece you ever bought? Prada Bowler Bag. Such a good one. And I bought it with my per diems. What designers make up most of your closet? I'm all over the place. <laughs> but you know, I love that you always mix high and low. I feel yeah, like yeah, 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 totally. You have some amazing designer pieces, but you're also willing to mix them with vintage. Especially if I'm like trying to be cool that day. <laughs> okay, you're having a dinner party. Who are your dream guests? Like Michelle Obama, of course. Um, Martha Stewart because she's like such a baller. Elon Musk because he's like his brain is insane. And I would want him to talk about AI with Demis um, Hassabis who's at uh, Google who runs AI because um, I think that would be a really interesting discussion. It's a really amazing tour for you. <laughs> <laughs> and I would probably be cooking. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go look at some of the pieces that you picked for Vestiaire Collective. Okay, let's do it. Hi, I'm Merritt, and I am here with Jessica, and she's gonna give us a little inside information on some of these beauties. They are all timeless and amazing, and I'm sure they all have a lot of stories to tell. So, so many stories, <laughs> so little time. <laughs> um, I, this one is still amazingly gorgeous. I'm yeah, like, this was a, a custom Prada dress, actually. Um, I wore it to a fashion event that Vogue threw at the Chateau. Business in the front. Party in the back. And totally timeless. I oh, yeah. Add I all of these. Moving on to one of our favorite things shoes. Yes. Well, these Viviers. Little, These ones are good. These are fancy schmancy. This is when you're like going to go to something and you're like really needing to step it up. Wanting to let people have it. Catherine Deneuve actually like wore uh, the Vivier buckle and like made it super popular back in the day. And so, and she's one of my style icons. So I always love Vivier. What is your philosophy for building the perfect wardrobe? To have three quarters of your closet, they have to be staples. They have to be things that are timeless, that you know look good, feel good. And then I think the, the other quarter can really be fun. And you can have fun with trends. And I also think that it's important to not be too attached to those more trendy items and to switch them out. And so that's why I think Bestiaire is such a great place because it allows you to have fun, indulge in those uh, more fun, trend-oriented uh, pieces, and then you can, you know, move on and, and shop more. 